Okay, well, at Northwestern University, I'm the director for the Institute for Nanotechnology, which is one of the largest nanotechnology efforts in the world. Uh, it oversees uh, now almost a third of a billion dollars worth of, of resources devoted to doing nanoscience and nanotechnology. Uh, it brings in many disciplines, chemistry, physics, material science, uh, many types of engineering and medicine, and even the social sciences in part to look at some of the ethical issues associated with nanotechnology. Um, so I, I have two hats. One is to, to, to help direct this big effort, uh, and the other is to actually get in there and, and, and develop part of the field. You know, a lot of people, again, have, have this, this uh, story about them being enamored with science at, at, at a very young age. You know, I, I wasn't. And I think that's a big message to, to people out there. You don't have to be uh, a professional scientist when you're 6, 7, 10, 12, 15 years old. Uh, if you have any sort of aptitude in math and science, it's something you should explore uh, in, in uh, your undergraduate uh, years and, and, and uh, consider pursuing a graduate degree because it's uh, the best job that uh, uh, you'll ever have. It's, it's one of the most exciting professions you, you, you can be involved in. Um, I knew I was hooked uh, with respect to, to science and chemistry in particular. Uh, when I was in graduate school and, and I was at the local gym running and I, I realized uh, that I'd lost about 15 minutes of my life running around a track not even thinking about the running event because I was processing uh, a whole set of chemical reactions and things that I wanted to do that day and, and it was just a, an amazing revelation that uh, I'd spent my entire time running thinking about nothing but uh, the next set of reactions and what was going to push uh, our, our project forward. And once you have that type of feeling, it's, it's really infectious and, and it becomes a way of life. And, and uh, even today, my, my children, uh, they call it zoning out. They, they say, Dad's not listening. He's, he's, he's thinking about something else. And that something else is typically the, the project we're working on and, and, and the, the, the types of discoveries we're trying to make uh, in the lab the next day.